Uh, another practice at Paul Brown Stadium, and uh, you're going to be playing down here. What do you think of, of playing on the big field in an NFL stadium? Everybody likes Nippert, but what about PBS? Uh, obviously, there's nothing like Nippert Stadium, but we don't mind coming down here. A lot of thing is we just got to get used to the hash marks and the numbers on the field, try to ignore them as much as we can. It's a little different uh, from being on a college field to an NFL stadium. But other than that, though, we love it here. It's a, it's a big place, so hopefully we can get enough fans out here. Um, but other than that, though, it's a beautiful venue. I think we'll uh, win a lot of games here this year. I've talked to most of your receivers uh, on uh, on staff here, and uh, great ones, probably the, the best crew I've ever seen uh, over my years. And, you know, you get talking about different ones, and then you forget one. And uh, I guess you, no one wants to be forgotten. Right. Uh, well, see, the thing I love about our receiving core is our depth and, and the maturity. You know, even though we have a lot of guys up and play, they still act like they've played. You know, when they come out on the practice field, it's like they've been here for four or five years, it seems like. You know, the way I see it, you know, the twos that we have, our backups, they could go anywhere in the country, in my opinion. They could be a starter on that team. So it's good to have that feeling that if you're ever tired in a game or if you ever go down or get hurt, we have another guy to step in the position. You know? And that's inside and outside. So that's the best thing about our receiving core is our depth and our leadership has picked up a lot this year, you know. Last year we were all pretty young and it was our first time uh, really playing between uh, a lot of us. <clears throat> and now this year we got our feet wet last year and I think we've uh, become a lot of you know, big time leaders on the team. How competitive is it though? I mean, it's like each one of you guys, everyone has a special talent. Everyone can grab the ball. You've all scored. You've got your own numbers. Uh, but, you know, you turn around and here comes another another group of kids in and they're, they're all fast. They can catch, same thing. Uh, it's very competitive every day. You gotta, you know, you gotta come to work every single day because you never know if you're gonna have your job by the end of that day. You know, there's been a lot of switches on the depth chart. You know, just because of competition. You know, one day someone has a good day, and one day they don't. So, I mean, it's up and down every single day. We never know who's gonna be the starter until the start of the game. Until the first game, September 12th kicks off. We don't know who the starters are gonna be because there's so much competition in that room. And, uh, you know, we love it though. That's the thing about it. And it makes us a stronger group and a better group and a more mature group and a more disciplined group at the same time because you know you, you have to come to practice every single day ready to earn that that, that spot. Toledo's on the menu. Were you at the last game up there? Yeah, I was there last game. So, uh, I mean, everyone remembers that. That wasn't a, a nice one, so you'd like to get them back. Yeah, that one's in the, you know, it's still back there in the back of our minds, and we're still thinking about that. But, um, you know, we're just going to take it like it is every other game. We're going to, you know, watch film and learn about them. And, and whatever happens, happens out there. You and Matty Monk still tight? Yeah, he's still my friend. Me and Matty, we talk from time to time. You know, he's busy playing, and I'm busy here. But whenever we get a chance to, we're talking. And I said I've done my homework now that they play Toledo. They play Toledo uh, this Saturday, I believe. Yeah. If so we get time off, I might try to make it up to that game. If not, we'll watch it on TV or something. But, but will Matty call you with the scouting report and say, look out for this, that, or the other? He probably will know Matty, but you never know. You never know with that kid. He's a good boy. I know he's going to do a lot of tremendous things this year. Um, you know, he, it's, a, it's a blessing to actually watch him on the TV, you know, how, how far he's come since high school, how much more he's, uh, you know, uh, evolved his game. Um, and it's just uh, it's a great thing to see him and another guy from Canton, Ohio, playing Division One football. Where, where's Ben at these days? I think Ben moved to uh, Missouri with his dad and followed him to coach high school football. Okay. That's exactly what Ben should be doing. Cause, I mean, I've never met a guy, you know, with more, more brains in, in the game of football. Ever. So that's what I think Ben should be doing. I mean, he's the smartest guy ever when it comes to football. Hopefully he'll land an offensive coordinator job somewhere somewhere down the road. All right. Max Morrison, thank you very much. Appreciate it.